All right, Ellen, thank you so much for joining me today and for taking the time to share about your experience. We went through our six-week transformation program together, um, but before talking about that, would you mind sharing with us uh, just what things were like for you in life prior to working together, before we connected and found each other? Well, first, I just want to say, Sarah, that I'm so happy that I found you because life is definitely better. Um, I, I would have to say that it was just very heavy and I didn't really realize I was heavy, um, emotionally heavy, kind of stunted. Um, I was looking, I had done some therapy and I just felt like there was something missing. And um, when I connected with you, I definitely found that missing piece and uh, just feel so much lighter and healthier um, with, with working with you after six weeks. So what, what was that like, the transformation experience? Like, and you don't have to go into detail about your specific life or, or things, but just that journey, what, what was it like? Well, I was shocked <laughs> um, how positive and how amazing it was. Um, our first RTT session, um, well, first of all, the, the, the recordings were really helpful and, um, and I still listen to them even though I'm post- yeah. <laughs> um, your program, but I, um, I just can't, yeah, it, it, I'm just so overwhelmed by, um, the experience and how it really just gave me the homework that I wanted. I think when we, we talked, I really wanted something to do. I didn't feel like I was an active, um, participant in my own therapy. I felt like I was just talking, um, but I really didn't have some meat and potatoes to really work on. Um, and you gave me that. That was definitely a missing piece for me. Um, and going and through I'm, the... Oh, go on. I was going to say, I'm glad you addressed that because most people that I connect with, they've already done so many things. I had as well. And, and they have read another book or they've spent years and thousands of dollars talking about it, maybe to feel like they've mm -hmm. come, a, they're, they're better than they were before they began that, but they're still not where they want to be. And they think maybe, I don't know what to do now. And they're still feeling stuck. And, and I always say, well, you, you got to look inside yourself. Right. And, and yeah. I think sometimes that, or, and people think it's, it's going to take a long time to heal. Right. And, so share your experience with that. And, and it's possible that you had that thought as well. Yes, because I've been in and out of therapy for different reasons through my entire life. And I figured it was going to be this heavy or long process and it was going to take, you know, it's going to be weighted again. Um, and it wasn't, it was, it wasn't a long process. It was a very um, well thought out, predictable, you know, lots of exercises from A to B to C that I could complete um, and six weeks. And it was kind of like, wow, that I feel, I felt better after week one, let alone. So by the time we got to six weeks, I was like, that was fast, but you know, but it was so, it was so rich in the experience. It was just such a, a rich experience that I had. And most people do, but if I say, oh, you're going to feel amazing in one week, when you're experiencing the heaviness and the pain that you are, that, that has us connect, that's like, oh, that's not possible. Right, <laughs> so, right. It and is possible. Say that, but <laughs> <laughs> that, that is generally um, the experience. So you're, we are post, you know, working together now. What is life like for, you know, how are things different? What's changed? Um, I... First of all, and I said this to you in our sessions, I have learned that other people's stuff is not my stuff. And I feel so light instead of carrying their weight. Um, you know, one of my favorite saying has always been um, holding on to anger is like drinking poison, hoping somebody else will die. And I've really lived by that, but it changed after doing the therapy where I do actually feel so much lighter. Um, and I just, I can let things go and I don't assume that that responsibility and that weight in that life, if you will. Um, and it's just been life altering. Amazing. And I am so happy. It's been amazing to connect with you and be a part of your journey in so many ways other than what we're going to cover here. But what would you recommend to people who maybe are where you were then and, and, you know, toxic relationships or just heaviness, anxiety, lack of motivation, all the things that accompany that, what would you recommend to them? I would, um, 
tell them to call you <laughs> to start the, the process that you will not regret it. It just, um, I just would, I just sing your praises to anybody that will listen and the whole process and, and the hypnosis. And, and I got to be honest, not that I believed it either way. I didn't have, I did not have any pre preconceived notions about it. Um, I, I did have one little one and that was my grandmother went through hypnosis, you know, back in the seventies to stop smoking. Um, and she still smokes, but <laughs> for a little bit longer, but um, I, I'm I glad you really... mentioned that because hypnosis is part of this rapid transformational therapy. A part of it, one component of that is the hypnosis. Um, so speak to that if you wouldn't mind, because I think a lot of people are going, oh, that's weird. It's like mind altering or it's your brainwashing. Uh, so speak to that if you would, what's your experience it, like with that? It, it is. Um... Well, I do yoga, so I'm used to a kind of a meditation, kind of meditative state. And I would say it's a little bit deeper than that. Um, it's not scary. It's very, it's very relaxing. For me, it was very calming and relaxing. Um, and things would come up in your mind and, and that's what you would address. And those things were just, they were what where the issues were or are. Um, and so under hypnosis, I could, you know, address those things and talk about those things and see um, that that vignette, if you will, um, during the during the process. Uh, you can, I could hear things around me. It's not like I was completely gone, but I was really focused on what we were doing in our journey and my journey and my experience. Um, so. It, but you didn't ask for a credit card number when I was under hypnosis <laughs> that I gave you. It was nothing like that. It's you not didn't like send that silly that Ferrari to my house. Oh my no, God. I didn't. And, and I didn't look like a chicken either. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it, it's just, it's just a very calming meditative state where you really have the ability to see things that maybe you didn't see before. Yeah, beautifully said. That's how I describe it. But, and thank you so much for sharing your perspective on it too, because I know a lot of people wonder like oh I don't know about that or or maybe have heard about it but they've heard uh mistruths about it you know so. right mm -hmm. thank you so much Ellen well I appreciate you again for sharing your time and I look forward to connecting again soon sounds good Sarah thank yeah. you you're welcome bye